morning, everyone. The day has finally arrived that we're going to start on the bedroom. But before we do that, I just wanted to let you all know a couple of things. It is deer season here, and for the last week we've been out with our muzzle loaders. We haven't had any luck yet. So our mornings and late afternoons are gonna be taken up with doing some hunting and trying to fill the freezer with some deer. So we've only got a few hours during the day that we're gonna work on the bedroom. So you're not going to be seeing the build in real time. I cannot upload a video every day. Our internet is really slow. So we are going to do a section and I will upload that. And then the next day we'll do another part, but that won't get uploaded until, you know, at least a few days later. I'm gonna try to upload two a week until this is done. I'm hoping it's gonna be done in about five days. We'll have to wait and see what happens, see if the weather holds out. Uh, so other than that, I don't really think much is going on. We did butcher the extra roosters that we had. We got that all done yesterday, got those in the freezer. And so now we're just getting ready to build. Let's do it. As you can see, we invested in some new toys. Let's try to make this build a little bit easier. Let's get them open and hooked up, see what all we got to do to get going. This is our, our 16 penny nail, nail gun. What are these goodies? Allen wrenches and some lubricant, looks like. Invoice instruction manual. Might, that might come in handy. This thing. We bought this because our older older one that's in my shop is it's getting weak. It's, MJ's had that one for 20 years. So. A lot better off. All right. I hope this came with some hose and I didn't look see what come come with it. Instruction manual. Strong the hose? No hose. Well, this is the same as my old one, so the hose will come off oh, my old one. I'll have to steal the hose off the old one. Why is there two? Two air connections. They can use two guns at once. I got two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> okay, you realize now if we get the skids and the floor joists built today, we get to go hunting tonight. I hope so. Okay, so you have to drive a test nail, and then if if it's too deep, you have to turn this this little knob right here to I think you. If it's too deep, you turn it clockwise. If it's too shallow, you turn that counterclockwise. Okay, you ready? You supposed to let it kick back? You supposed, yeah, you're supposed to pull the trigger and pull it up. Like that. Oh, that ain't bad right there. <laughs> See, that's perfect. What I did first time was too much. Do another I held one. it on there. Oh, it seems kind of deep. No, it's all right, whatever. Let's try it there. Take one of the short ones and one of the long ones, nail them together. We have to do that through for all of them. Doesn't matter. They're all exactly the same, so just unstack them.
I threw him that way and you threw it that way. <laughs> I was building over here. Here, let's drive along one. Okay, lay it down. And then we put a short one on top of it. And flush it up on that end. And nail it together. And then and we have to make all of these into the same thing. Come in. Well, you're holding it on there again. Well, I'm just letting it do its own thing. <laughs> Short one on top of it. It feels pretty good right there. How about you? Mine, my end is good. Mine. Seven nails or less. Mm -hmm. Put it in the middle of your block. I'm working on it. All right, we're not right with the kitchen. We're at 214. We need to come another inch and a half. We're going to take those extra long skid pieces, nail them to the ends so that we can make sure they're straight across. Plus, it'll help us to square them up once we get that one up on the block. So let's nail one of the extras down here. Is it going to be long enough? Yeah, I think so. Hope so. I mean, these are only a hundred inches outside to outside, so where's my tape measure? Damn, we gotta get it at a hundred. Where's a hundred? <laughs> you can't see a hundred on the tape measure? Oh, I was looking for a mark on the board. No. Hundred inches outside to outside. Looks like a hundred to me. Of course, I don't have my glasses on. You like? Yeah, nail it. Okay. Okay, well that took a lot longer than I had expected, but we've got the skids leveled and squared and the same distance from the kitchen. <laughs> so that, you know, we don't start out with 20 feet down here and end up at five feet down here because that would drive my OCD crazy. So it's good. We've made sure everything was straight and level and and all that good stuff. So we're going to take a quick break for a glass of water and then we're going to come back and start on the 10 by 10 section of the floor, which will go on that end. We're building this the opposite direction of the kitchen. So we kind of have to flip our plans over because we wanted the front door of the bedroom to be straight across from the front door of the kitchen. So maybe someday we'll put a roof over that a breezeway so you can walk from the bedroom to the kitchen without getting wet when it's raining i don't know if that'll ever happen but we're gonna put the doors right across from each other anyways so that's the plan we'll be right back all right so we're 24 inches on center but our boards are two inches thick right so i want to mark these at 23. No, oh, it's 48 minus an inch. Right? I don't know. You did 23, so I thought you'd do 46. Mm -mm. The board goes 24 inches on center. The board will go at four feet.
Okay. So right here. Oh, short this end, please. Both sides good? Yes. Is it good on both ends? Yes. And then that one should already be good, right? Nope. Do the top. Take the clamp off. Oh, Easy there, Hercules. Okay, right there. right there. Oh, crap, you broke it. Uh, All right, we'll do it in the middle. But I don't know how I'm going to twist the top. I have an idea, though. All right, do that. Perfect. Is this the last one and then you got the floor done? Um, <laughs> Other than the blocking. I think we're I missing mean, half of a floor. I mean, this <laughs> this section. Oh, well, yeah. Right, obviously, I know you're missing the 12 foot. All right, then we'll have to put the blocking in. The more, the more support to that plastic, the better. Because you're going to have all that weight of that. Can you toss me my tape measure? So all the blocking is. How many blocking do we have? No, no, we got to cut them. We need one, two, three, four, five. We need ten. I stopped cutting them because I knew we'd have to cut them to length. Well, we have twelve, so you have enough. Or this side. We're gonna go. Oh, shoot, I found it. Alright guys, I know this video wasn't very interesting, but it's what we got done. Now Eddie is not sitting here with me because he hasn't shaved all week and so he doesn't want to be on camera. But we have a problem here. One of my rim joists didn't get planed or something and it's not the right thickness. So tomorrow we're going to have to pull it off, fix the problem and put it all back together before we can continue. Unfortunately, we did not finish this product today, this project today, so we also do not get to go out for the afternoon hunt because now it is time for me to start dinner. So it's what we have for you today. I will try not to bore you too much. Maybe I can speed up the whole process, make it a really short video or something. Um, but I'm going to try to get this up in the next couple of days and then our next step will be we're going to put some plastic on the bottom of these and insulate the floor so the next step will be raising this up so Eddie can nail some plastic underneath it and then we'll set it down square it up nail it all to the skids and then he can insulate it and we will put the flooring on I think we're gonna put the flooring on because we also still have to make the 12 10 by 12 side so I have to look at the instructions and see if we put the flooring on or if we do this side first but we want to get the plastic on each piece as we do it. So that's what's going to be up next. I appreciate you guys watching and we will see you next time.